Today, we're talking about levels. What does that mean? It's coming up right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Athletes TV. I'm Mike Pulaski, former 11-year pro quarterback and quarterbacks coach here at EliteAthletesTV.com. Today, I want to talk about levels. I was watching a TV game the other day, and I kept hearing the announcers say levels, levels, levels. And I know as an announcer, you don't have time to break it down and go through everything when you're talking about concepts like that. And so that's why I love this format here on YouTube is because we can break things down. We can go into detail about it. So today I'm going to talk about the levels concept. Before we get started, make sure if you're new to the channel that you subscribe and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new stuff coming your way. Smash the like button down below. Trying to give you stuff you like. Let me know by hitting that like button and Please leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Now, what people have done is they have taken that term levels and they shortened it down to make one of those cool cliche words that makes you seem like an insider. But what levels is all about is what they used to call a three-level flood or a three-level route. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to beat the defense by putting more people above and below a high-low stretch then they can cover in a certain area. So first, I'm going to take a look in the playbook, and we're going to break down levels and show you what it looks like on paper. Then we're going to take a look at some college game film, and I'm going to show you how levels works on the playing surface. Let's take a look. So first up, what most announcers, I think, are talking about when they're talking about levels on TV today is just a three-level flood. You can see here you've got a go route, You've got a deep bench route at 22 yards, and you've got a shallow cross underneath. What that does is it gives you three people at three different levels in the flat. One, two, three. And you read that as a quarterback by reading the flat defender, whoever that is. Could be a strong safety supposed to be getting out there, or it could be a corner in cover two. And so very simply put, levels in this case is a three level flood so Oregon does this really well the first thing they do is they give you a little eye candy they bring this receiver down and reset him inside then they're going to give you a play action look like they're running zone stretch like a split zone and they bring this receiver over from across the field on the front side from a compressed set they run post to take the top off the coverage. And then after the fake, the running back hits the flat. That gives you one, two, three levels for a three-level flood. Motion over, reset, Herbert, great fake, half roll, comes back and finds his guy. This stretch is on the flat defender. In this case for Cal, it's right here. If he gets depth, they throw the ball down low. If he stays shallow, they throw the ball up high. In this case, he tries to kind of tween it, and Herbert sees it and hits the ball right in that hole. Finds his guy, puts it on him. Nice pitch and catch. Aha, you say. So, levels route means guys coming across the field to hit three different levels. Not necessarily. Here's how UCLA does it by keeping three guys on the same side. Here again, what you're going to see is go route. You're going to clear the area, get the deepest player, the deep thirds player or the deep half player out of there. You're going to run a second level corner route. And then you're going to run a flare control or flat route here. And so once again, one, two, three three levels. This time, just like I showed you in Cobra, UCLA is going to get their stretch from the same side. You're going to get a zone action on the wide stretch on the RPO. So these guys are all blocking run. As the defense flows this way, the key is going to be flat defender. You're going to get the go route over the top, a little trail route by number two, and then you're going to get a hide or a sneak or a fanny route by your wing coming across. And that gives you, again, 
one, two, three levels. This guy in the flat can't be right. And this guy has to cover his deep zone. So it puts the flat defender in a bind. <clears throat> Dorian Thompson Robinson sees it and drills it. So you're saying, oh, I get it. You got three dudes to the outside and you're working at three different levels. Yes, that's a three level flood. But does it have to be to the sideline? Excellent question. No, it doesn't. Let's take a look. This is what the Niners used to do when they had Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, John Taylor, Dwight Clark, which is a pretty sound group of dudes. They used to run a play called Flanker Drive. We'll take a look at that one right now. What you have in this case is a two-level route, the low and the high route, but you could also put this on a post, so now you have a three-level route as well. This also becomes a triangle read in the end as a quarterback where you can read this triangle. But in the middle, as you're working over backers, this is a high-low or a two-level read. Put the post on it to take that safety over the top. It becomes a three-level read. And finally, like we just talked about, the drive concept. In this case, Oregon's in a two-by-two. Two. They're going to run go routes on the outside. They're going to bring a shallow from the top and a basic cross from down below. On this level's route, this safety has to stay high to honor both of the go routes, and these backers are the ones that you're trying to put into a bind. It opens up nicely. Run it back one more time so you can see as these backers start to drop for depth, they react to the shallow coming across. When he feeds up and this breaks across, you end up with an open window in here for your quarterback. Wide open hole in the middle. Quarterback finds him, sticks it on him. Excellent execution. So you can see levels is any time you get people at different depths above and below the defense. You're trying to disrupt what they were doing and put a vertical stretch on teams. So whether they're going to the sideline, whether it's over the middle of the field, anytime you have at least two, but three different levels of receivers, then you're running a levels concept. Now, certain teams may name it levels. They may call it levels as a play, but the concept is what you're calling levels. If you like what I did here today, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. Get notified every time we have new stuff coming out. Don't forget, smash that like button and leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you, your thoughts, your questions about what we can cover here at Elite Athletes TV. I appreciate you watching today. Just wanted to talk about that levels concept, give a little football X's and O's, maybe improve your football IQ, some football skills, and I'll talk to you again soon.